So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the one thing all videographers must know. Watch to find out. So when it comes to the art form of taking videos and telling stories and putting together clips, in my years of videography and using video cameras and anything video related, here is the one higher level thing that all videographers must know. If you're anything like me, you're probably sensitive when people give you criticism. You put, you spend a lot of hours and weekends editing and learning the newest tips and tricks and downloading presets and constantly learning and growing. And you're always trying to put your videos out there into the world. But the one tip or trick or hack or mindset that you need to have when it comes to making videos, especially in this digital age, is you need to constantly work on yourself and exclude the outside noises. Yes, I know when it comes to putting your stuff and art and portfolio out into the internet, people will comment, judge, critique. But the thing is, as a videographer and visual storyteller, you always wanna work on yourself. You always wanna get better and how can you one up yourself? People on the internet and real life and here and there will tell you, oh, this little angle is off. Your camera composition is a little bit off. When you use your stabilizer, it isn't perfect. Oh, you know, the video itself is over or underexposed. But the thing is with all those comments and feedbacks, a lot of people, and it took me a long time to realize, is that perfection is gonna be the end of your video career. Because if you constantly aim for, for perfection and you don't put content out there, then you're gonna be crippled by other people's opinions as well as your own visual capabilities. For me, when I first started, I kinda threw a Hail Mary and I kept on making video after video after video and after video. And I myself slowly started to get better and better and better. And don't get me wrong, I'm not, the, I'm not the best video editor out there, the number one, the next Steven Spielberg that can put together super awesome cuts. I'm just my own capabilities as I am now, but I'm constantly gonna get better. And yes, it's okay to take feedback and criticism from people that make videos, but you're gonna be a lot better off if you can able to watch your videos from not a personal standpoint, but an objective point of view and be able to step back and be like, hmm, okay, that video itself that I made for this client or even my own YouTube videos is okay, but I can make them a lot better. How? Through hours of whether that's learning how to edit better, learning better composition, learning better lighting, and the thing on top of that is you don't wanna get, it's a balance, right? You don't wanna to be too over concerned, obsessed about perfection to the point where you don't even put any content out in the world. If you wanna be a specific filmmaker, the next Steven Spielberg, in this day and age, perfection and putting out two pieces of a content, you're not gonna survive in this world. When it comes to YouTube and video platforms and online video now where that is the focus on, how you get better is you put out loads of content, forget the hate, forget the criticism, because at the end of the day, your videos and your work and your love and using the craft of video cameras, that is a lifelong, your entire life kind of game. You're not playing this for the short term. You're not making a couple of videos and you're gonna change careers. If you're watching this video, you're a videographer that wants to make videos for the rest of their lives. I know it might seem scary, but you might not wanna choose it as a career, but using it as a platform as your own art and craft. Think about the long term and how can you get better on yourself, forget the outside noise, take little bits and pieces of what people say, but then day, you have the power to make your videos better if it is your craft. And my last tidbit is if you want to survive and make money, which I'll make another video on this, if you guys want to know, let me know in the comments. But when it comes to getting views on the internet, don't be upset with what the latest thing to do is, 
but it's about helping people, especially on the YouTube platform of how I can help you as well as me help myself, whether that's motivating myself, getting better. But if you want to survive in the videographer world, it's all about learning digital skills and how can you apply that to video. Because nowadays everyone has their phone and they can just whip it out and hey look, I'm a photographer, I'm a videographer. So if you as a videographer wants to make money or career doing that, you have to be better than everyone else. But at the same time, you also have to have a unique twist to what you want to do. For example, you can focus solely on making videos for businesses and you niche down even more. You're only gonna do videos for restaurants or you're only gonna do Facebook ad videos. That is where the direction of video is going and that is the one thing or one higher level thing that I wish I knew that all videographers knew when they first start. It's all about quieting the noise, focusing on your craft and not letting perfection get in your way. My name is Peter and you're watching Broke Visionary Collective, where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something. Cheers.